to see it at this point now that it's all the work that was put into it. I'm, yeah, definitely worth it. When Mars is colonized, we'll be the ones helping build parking garages there. Not as big as James Webb. This is the most complicated spacecraft that has ever been built in human history. This isn't just looking deep into space, we're looking back in time. Summer's Trucking was started in 1946 by my grandfather. He started out of his home, parked his trucks at the home, and when he built his first terminal, it was right down the road here. Now, since 1946, we've hauled in literally all 48 contiguous states up and down the East Coast, but Ephrata is, is the home and the family. I did not have the perception of a family business. It was just a way of life. It was always, if you went to the summer side of the family at a holiday, there was always some kind of conversation about the business. We really are trying to continue with the, the legacy that both my grandfather started and, and my uncle and my father. I started here when Harold Summers was running the company, him and his brother Sonny. Harold treated you like his own. He would make you feel like you were one of his children. He cared about you. Working with your family, especially when you get along with them, is extremely rewarding. You're supporting your community and you're supporting the people that work with you. And it's, it is a very satisfying feeling. Many companies don't last third generation. Uh, luckily, my cousin and my sister and I were, were always kind of, don't tell us we can't do something, we're gonna show you we can. And while we had three very different personalities, it's actually led to a, a good complement of each other. And, and I, think, I think my father and grandfather would be proud of, of where we've taken our company. We're hoping that it sees out to the beginning of the universe, basically, to the Big Bang. How did it all happen? Um, where did it all start? So we're trying to look billions of years into the past. Hubble can only see so far. Um, James Webb, they're, they're hoping, can see all the way out. We could find life on worlds that are not our own. I mean, it's just, it's so hard to, to describe how big and how beautiful this telescope is. It's probably our best chance at finding life on other planets and, uh, and seeing, uh, you know, probably discovering things that we, we couldn't have even imagined before. Just the actual observatory itself, it really is gonna be an amazing piece of flight hardware that goes up there and, and um, brings back some, uh, some, some great information and, and new knowledge that we really are looking forward to seeing. You can create, you can build, you can do anything. But without logistics, without the support people behind it, nothing happens, nothing. Years ago, we were hauling oversized loads for a parking garage in the D.C. area. And we just happened to be at the right place at the right time. Truthfully, at the time, I wouldn't have even known NASA needed anybody to haul their equipment. John and Kenny and I went and met with them. And I went to the meeting thinking it was, it was a no-brainer. We were going to be their hauler. It was a, a great fit from the beginning, and our relationship with them has just grown and grown. When it comes to moving flight hardware, we always use summers. Um, it, it's just a a given for us. Everything NASA sent up in space for the last 15 years, we pretty much hold for them. These enormous satellites and rovers and everything they have up in space right now. When you're hauling spacecraft or space flight hardware, you need the delicate handling. You need, you need the precision. And we know we're going to get that when we go, you know, with summers. And that's what we do. We've probably had about 15 to 18 drivers over the years that have hauled for them in one way or another. But every time when it comes back to that key load and the one key things we have to do or the most important thing or a coordination person we need, uh, we have one driver, George Arderlein, who is called upon to do that. Uh, my name is George Arderlein. Um, I'm a truck driver for Summer Trucking since 1998. At one point they pointed out to me, one person said, do you realize how much money is in the 
in that container. And I said, I, to be honest with you, I try not to think about it. I try to pretend it's a load of lumber or something simple so I don't have that extra pressure. I have a hard time getting in the lines of a parking space, you know? <laughs> so um, his skill is certainly um, something to admire. We have one more move from uh, from Northrop Grumman to the to a port in in California. I can't help but think back about you know what would my grandfather have to say, what would my father had to say. In some ways, it would be it's a normal course of business, and we got to make sure we do this successfully. And then it, it goes on a ship to South America. I'm definitely looking forward to this last trip. When you say you've hauled for NASA, it's just a dream. It's gonna be uh, bittersweet when it actually launches because it's gonna be like, yay, we did it. And it's gonna be like, oh, what do we do now? We're part of history, we're making this happen. It'll be really exciting to, to see it go into space. We've all come together as a group. Everybody's had their role in it, and to see that final launch will be exciting for us. All this work is actually coming to fruition. And liftoff. Decollage. Decollage, liftoff from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. When I think of all the amazing projects we've been involved in over the years. There's, it's hard to compare with being involved in the James Webb Telescope launch. What I really look forward to is when I talk to my grandchildren and they're reading about this in school and they're hearing about the history of this and I can say, hey, we helped get that into space. It's gonna be cool to be part of history. The saying always is anything you have, a truck brought it. Well, that's also true for the space station and the satellites and everything else, it's not just in the United States, it's all over the world and also in outer space.